प्लीज हायकोर्टान एक असो मॅटर येल्लो वेर पेरंट्स वॉ बॉर्न बिफोर लिबरेशन इरा हि इन गोवा एन द डॉटर वॉन्टेड टू एप्लाय फॉर द इंडियन पासपोर्ट बट देर वॉज सम प्रॉब्लम बट हायकोर्ट हॅज हायकोर्ट सेड शी कॅन अप्लाय फॉर द इंडियन पासपोर्ट किती हे झाला मातशी हितून सांगात कसे किती हो दॅट मॅटर आय एम लुकिंग एट द जजमेंट दॅट इज लू जेनिफर लोबो वर्सेस रिजनल पासपोर्ट ऑफिसर इट्स अ रेट पिटिशन एट वन एट ऑफ टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इन जजमेंट पास ऑन थर्ड जानेवारी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ऍक्च्युली आय डोंट नो वाय शी वॉज बिंग डिप्रायव्ह ऑफ द पासपोर्ट नॅचरली शी केम एज अ बेबी ओवर हियर अँड uh she was her parents had a portuguese uh, uh, indian passport mm. so once the parents have indian passport by national by descent uh, she is a indian citizen mm. so i don't understand on what her basis they could have denied her that mm. and uh, even otherwise even if parents continued and died in the portuguese era she herself was here in the portuguese era mm. and uh, so she could have got it mm. i'll just uh, read out the facts see See petitioner was born in Kampala Uganda mm. in 1963 that means she was born after liberation mm. of Goa mm. her father was born on in 1921 at Raya Salset mm. and mother was born in 1927 in Naveli mm. so parents were married in Raya mm. and they marriage marriage is registered in 1949 mm. so they are here in uh, and there were definitely people of uh, people who were in portuguese india mm. and uh, then she got married mm. uh, she uh, her marriage was there uh, she was birth in sorry um, birth is on 12 october 1963 mm. and naturally at that time mm. all these people were portuguese nationals mm. 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 so even a goan who was in any other part maybe even in part of india mm. was a portuguese national mm. 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 जांचे आवय बापूय पोर्तुगीज काळात जल्मा गायल्यात आणि उपरांत तांकां भारतीय पासपोर्ट मेळटा जर तांची भुरगीं खंयच्याय देशात जल्माक घेऊनही भारतीय पासपोर्ट तांचो हक्क असे नागरिकत्व कायद्यान स्पष्ट असा कालूस म्हणतात if either parent or either grandparent mm. was a portuguese citizen uh, the person is deemed to be an indian citizen okay. by the citizenship order mm. this part also says one more thing this what i was telling earlier she studied everything in uh, she came to school uh, between 75 and 83 she mm. studied in navelni school okay. where she did a college teachers training in pune mm-hmm. everything her mother obtained an indian passport on 21st october 2019 mm-hmm. so if the mother can get why the daughter could not get unless they had some evidence to say mm-hmm. that she had acquired some other citizens okay so it was I, i of course it made the high court sit in a judgment on this way it was very easy for the passport officer to have granted it okay. but sometimes what happens you see i blame the passport officers because they don't first study the law mm-hmm. they don't want to study the law mm. and they come with their uh, bureaucratic mindset oh this doesn't happen in other parts of india so why okay. should i mm. so you must understand that when you come to territories like mm. these like even in goa daman and diu mm. which was ruled by a portuguese or a colonial regime before mm. and now we have become part of india you must understand that nuance and that legal part of it mm. what is the law what is the standing what are the rights you must know this okay otherwise you aren't fit to become a passport officer sit here put him somewhere else gomantak tv khatir panje jan samit narvekar invest goy 2024 vyavsay vad navinya khatir invest goy 2024 at mujrat nondani karat uddega vishi mahiti divpi khasa satra uddeg jalwandara wangda networking acho sandhi udyatya trends acher panel charcha goyat vishesh guntavnuki cho sandhi इन्वेस्ट गोय 2024 तारीख एक जानेर 2024 थर ताज सिदाधी दोना पावला चला तो गोय उद्योगिक उदरगति प्रवासात सामिल जा संधि मुजरत लाभ घयात